don't get it, we wait out front of Franco's mother's house all night. It's reasonably close to Port Charles, a good base of operations, and the guy doesn't show up. You can't apply logic to Franco. He's giving me a headache. Yeah, I know the feeling. Take a wild guess. Yet another dead end. Yep, my forensics found nothing on the flowers, which bugs me because the guy sends Maxi 66 roses in the course of a day. It's got to mean something. It does mean something. Uh, where you find something alarming? I don't answer to you. <laughs> Hate to break it to you, buddy, but in this case, you okay, sort of do. Hold, hold on. Franco is a priority right now, Spinelli. We need to work together to get this thing over with. Okay. I stand ready to serve at the master's behest, but I must ponder the point. The merciless world stacks the deck. Every step forward results in two steps in reverse. Joy becomes another crushed can in the debris of our impending doom. Are you having some kind of relapse or something? You know what, Dante? I don't care to discuss my personal issues in your presence. Well, you got your work cut out for you, but do it fast because we need this kid back on track. It is fascinating how the duplicitous detective's moral standards are no longer offended by the Jackal's methods now that he stands to benefit. Fix him. I'm roadkill in the highway of love. The jackal makes me sir no more. Okay, uh -uh. Maximisa invited me to her place on the pretext of engaging in much to be desired couples activity. I arrived to find the door calculatingly open. Maximista was engaged in a disgusting, a disgusting lip lock with the heinous Dr. Matt Hunter in a misguided effort to inspire my jealousy, you know, to make the jackal lay claim to what is his by non-wedded decree. Instead, I walked away. Sounds like Maxi went to a lot of trouble to get your attention. I mean, isn't this kind of her way of her way of showing you that that she loves you? <laughs> Who cares? I guess I guess love has many degrees and elevations, but. I've, I've been seeing this coming for weeks, and whatever Maximista's previous romantic attachment, whatever we were, whatever, it, it, it is clear that we are drifting beyond, <laughs> beyond drifting apart, but she doesn't have the heart, or dare I say the guts, to make the final and cruel break, so I have to do it for her, for us, because things as they stand, not fair to me. I appreciate Stone Cold's time and sympathy, but Jackal's done with romantic delusion. And I'm ready to focus on the urgent task at hand, so where are we in our investigation? Okay, uh, money. I want to track the money. Franco's artwork's been selling like crazy. He has to be getting this money somehow. We need to figure out how. All right. Well, I've been building new, stronger cyber programs to track funds, so I'll utilize them now. Perfect. Nervous you out there looking for Franco. You guys have any luck? Uh, I'm not sure. We're either on Franco's trail or the one he's setting us up to follow. First, you need to tell me exactly what happened when Franco showed up at the restaurant last night. You know, it was weird. I mean, it was, um, it was Franco, yeah, but he was just so different. He was calm and, and sane. I guess that's why I didn't feel the need to call out. I didn't feel threatened at all. Well, what do you say? He apologized. He apologized for causing us grief. He, he went on about how beautiful Jocelyn was and how he would never hurt her. And of course, I told him that I would kill him with my bare hands if he ever did. And then he said we were all connected. You, me, Jocelyn, and Michael. What do you mean, Michael? He said that Michael was quite the prize in prison. 
I want to know what he meant by that. He's just messing with us. He knows you're going to tell me everything. It's a game. This whole thing's a game. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just gonna take a quick shower. Just let me know if you remember anything else, okay? Okay, look. I know that Franco is our top priority, but you still have time to work on our project, right? Not to worry. Good. You know... Anything on Franco? Well, I'll take that as a no. Riddles and games. That's what Franco does. He drops clues right in front of us. They're so obscure that we can't even see them. So let's go over it again. What, what, what do we have? What has he done so far? Well, he showed himself to Carly and Maxie and apologized. And he brought and sent Maxie roses. Paid for in cash. Five and a half dozen. Sixty-six. Oh, I hate this. I mean, here we are wasting time with, with stuff that might not even mean anything. Franco's out there somewhere about to do something to someone. We can't figure out who it is, and we can't stop him. 